Hello viewers, Super GT here. The S-Class Hopper returns. Unfortunately, they got rid of the A-Class Hopper, but at least we've got S-Class. S-Class was a classic in Forza 6. Let's see if it's very much the same in Forza 7 as we come around the first corner here at Sebring International Raceway. So then coming up into turn two, Lotus on the right-hand side had a very good launch he's got very good brakes although he does break a little bit too late there I'm up the inside the Corvette then the 2009 Corvette this thing was very good again in 4 to 6 let's see if it's the same in this game plenty of straight line speed as we approach the very fast or very slow chicane with a very fast approach too fast for this car's brakes I <laughs> I brake way too late and I think I did well to kind of go in between the two cars there and avoid catastrophe. So having to take to the escape road, slotting back in in fifth position, away from the hairpin then into the next sequence of corners. Very fast through here, a lot quicker than the A class I was playing last week. Into the next turn, and someone's into the back of me. Big, big punt. Obviously a massive misjudgment from that guy. And there's times when you just give up. You get smashed off and you just can't be bothered. To be fair to this guy, he kind of... Well, he did wait for me. But I kind of wasted all his time there by not actually moving. That resulted in a very prompt quit. So we're going to move to the next race here at Indianapolis. So two American circuits to kick off the video in the American machine. The first turn here. So this is... The uh, reverse layout, it's, it's, it's not the layout they use in Formula 1 of course, I believe it's what they use in MotoGP, but I know they go in this direction at least, they don't go in the same direction as the Formula 1 cars would go around this track, when they did come to this place, but away from um, the first couple of corners onto the oval, back onto the infield, 4th place still, so we started 4th and we are still in 4th, although this guy's just driven himself straight off the track, he's... He just committed automotive suicide by driving straight off the circuit. That's not really quite how you're supposed to race. But it means I'm into a podium position onto the middle straight behind the Mercedes. Let's see who's got the best top end down here. It looks pretty much equal. Into the braking zone, up the inside. He's left a massive space for me. He's going to be side by side into the next turn. I'm just going to get a bit later on the brakes and slide across. It's a good move into second and he's respected the space as well. It's always good when the other person kind of is aware of what's going on rather than just slamming the shit out of you. So yeah, good stuff there. Up into second place, now chasing down the skyline. Do a mistake, mate. Do a mistake. He's not quite making it there. Onto the main straight, the long straight at Indianapolis. Third place has made a mistake. And look at this, it's gonna be easy pickings into the slipstream, back out again and easily passed into the lead. Can we take the first sector okay? Go out to the wall, maximise that turn in. It's very easy to break late for that first corner. Oh sorry, it's very easy to break too late and then go onto the grass. Hooked up with the apex, absolutely nailed it. Second apex, can we do this one? Yes we can, perfectly done. And then that race kind of fizzled out. It was very easy from there on in. So it turned out to be a rather easy first place. We're going to move then to Rio. Pole position, got the faster lap in the last race. I'm going to move off to the side the best I can. Almost pull into the path of that Lamborghini. He just about gets past though. Okay, here we go then. 18th out of 18. Last to first challenge. Here we go. Can we do it? Straight past a Viper who's slow. This is where the true carnage begins. And yet yeah, plenty of smoke laying uh, down a smoke screen just to make it that much harder. Still not sure why Turn 10 insist on deploying smoke screens in this game. It really just adds to the carnage. Into the chicane. Oh my god, he's off. And then there's someone flipping. Someone was flying. And well, actually more than one person was flying through there. I'm not sure if you quite caught that. You might want to rewind it because there was someone severely, um, you know, severely flipping and they've probably got tons of motion sickness right now having to go to hospital after that crash or or probably the morgue more likely he's probably actually dead 
Lotus takes a totally wrong line through there. Probably not realising we're turning left and not going straight on for the shorter version. So he um, again committed automotive suicide. Plenty of that going on in this lobby. So I guess people still adapting to the class. Perhaps people um, more used to the A-class hopper that was available last week. And not quite adjusting their sights as we go through the corners in faster cars. So coming downhill, the fast sweeping chicane, the Ford RS200, not messing about there. Absolutely savage AF on the Ford, the other Ford Mustang GT 350R. Not the inside of this other guy. Look up the inside. This guy is all over the place. Up the inside nicely, up into sixth place. It's only a two lap race. I think the race lengths need to be looked at here because fours are six, this would have been a three lapper, which I think is a more acceptable race length off the wall coming out of the tunnel and down into the 90 degree left hander using all of the tarmac on the right hand side to get a better run through the corner itself bit of a graze on the exit of the turn but we are away nicely two more corners left on this circuit and then we are halfway done in this race up into sixth place we started in 18th or we're starting in first but then went down to 18th so gaining 12 positions already that is pretty good going if you ask me and if I keep up that rate of overtaking I'll be in about minus sixth place by the end so then into the hairpin is it gonna go all a uh, haywire through here not quite uh, the forward up ahead being a bit more patient so I suppose once you get towards the people at the front of the pack they're gonna be slightly better you would have thought at least so into the chicane we can take this a bit quicker than we did on the last lap given that there's not many noobs in the way and then these two guys have got it all wrong they're going to start battling it's a delta integrale he's sliding through the corner that's going to hand me fourth place and that's that's really it's such a simple way to get past people so many people just make contact such pointless contact with each other and it just slows each other down sometimes it's best even if someone's going to come through and make contact just get out of the way even if they're wrong just to avoid the contact because think about it pragmatically it will save you time just to avoid contact even if the other person is being an absolute dickhead but anyway fourth place then can we get third can we get onto the podium he's only just up ahead we can carry plenty of speed through this corner not many people take this corner really as quick as you can it's actually not as sharp as you think and then into the next corner this one's a very long hairpin it's a Lamborghini up ahead the Huracan I believe the Forza Horizon 2 cover car is being hunted down now with a couple of corners left to go. Not too long left, maybe about 30 seconds or so. Into the wall. It's not too easy to control this car, it must be said. He looks like he's deploying a lag switch, trying to confuse the hell out of me as to exact location using uh, some jamming grenades, trying to put me off completely. Up the inside, it's a good move late on the brakes. And we're going to hit the apex nicely. And the other guy hasn't turned in on me so you know nice to see that onto the podium third place as long as I can get around the last two corners okay so after the first place in Indianapolis it's going to be a third place here at Rio so fairly good start so a fairly American feel to this um, to this video so far I know Rio isn't well he's not in the United States but it is in South America now, I was just wondering, I think the credits you get for finishing multiplayer is just too low. With with VIP, they've got 18,000. If you don't have VIP, you would have got 9,000 for that, which is really hardly anything. But anyway, here we go then. VIR, the final race. So once again, another American circuit. Starting in about 10th, so midway through the pack. Not the best place to be. But we're going to keep it really careful for the first turn. That proximity arrow went flying off to the left. And luckily avoided that and that one as well. Plenty of people getting collected in that monstrosity and we threw up into fifth. Just keeping your nose clean, you know, that really is the secret. It's not really about attacking at all, it's just about not crashing, not getting involved. And I really should have gone up the inside of the BMW there, just really wasn't brave enough on the brakes and he kind of managed to go around the outside of me. So fourth place then. Um, we're away from the main bulk of the pack. That is always good news. Always good news. So I was just wondering which variation we're doing here. It's not quite the one we turn right there, of course. 
and then the BMW. Oh my god! <laughs> so close to crashing, two nearly three times there. And then on the exit through the through the left hander. Uh, yes, I've got the run here. Up into third place. We're going to start hunting down the top two, and they're only just around this corner. It's been a very good start so far. Been uh, nice and clean, kept away from trouble, and this is the reward. We can hunt down the first two. Now we're coming up to a very well awkward kind of corner because it's it's blind. You're going over a big crest here. It's very easy to break too late, as this guy has done. Uh, the guy in the Merchelago up ahead. Just gonna have to let him slot in ahead. Not quite able to get back past him. So still in third place. Now this is a very awkward little complex here. You have to break very early for this corner. You, do, you don't want to go too late because oh, going over that crest, you can really easily misjudge that one. I've just, uh, just nudged him a slight bit there. But he's uh, gained control once again and he's, he can drive away. So a nice little tight chicane here. So just dipping two wheels over the grass. I mean, this game kind of allows that. Not, I mean, a proper simulator, some of the iRacing, you'd, you'd get penalised for that. Your tyres would go dirty and the grass will slow you down. But in this game, it kind of... It's a dumb thing. People just use two wheels on the grass and it kind of just works. It just, it really just hooks you around quite nicely. So, we're going to go for the cut back here. It works. Yes, it has. Look at that. We're going to have the inside line. Is he going to be brave around the outside? Yes, he is. Way too brave. He's into the wall. Unforced error. Well, I kind of forced his hand there. Put up the inside and just asked the question of him. Are you going to be brave enough to go around the outside? Obviously, he was brave enough, but he was far too brave and far too... Um, well, just asking way too much of his car's capabilities there. Something his car could not quite do for him. So he's, uh, once again, we've completed the hat-trick of automotive, of automotive suicide. So, up into second, we have one lap left to try to hunt down the leader. He's just around the corner. So, can we do it? VIR is always... Well, actually, I was going to say it's always been one of my favourites, but... I remember when I first played it, so this came, this came out as a DLC circuit on Forza 6 with, was it, yeah, with the Porsche pack, and to begin with I wasn't quite sure about it, I was kind of, it's okay, it's, it's not too bad, but then actually playing it a lot more, especially for Forza Racing Championship, I, I've really grown to enjoy this circuit, I think it's a really good track. So through that section, see just how much we have gained on the Porsche that is in the lead. Up into Oak Tree Corner. Used to be an Oak Tree on the inside, but it's no longer there. And then hitting the second apex nicely. Let's see how good this car is in a straight line. I think he's going to feel slightly threatened here, as I am gaining. He's going to move to the right-hand side, which is the defensive line as we're going into the right-hand. I'm going to move to the left, try and do him around the outside. And just braked way too late. And it's not going to end well. But actually it does. Well, I mean... I'm not sure how the hell that happened, but some sort of... I think it's because there was a tyre on the ground and I kind of bounced off the tyre. So, if anything, I probably didn't lose much, too much time there at all, going for the new um, wall bounce tactic. So it actually pulled off quite nicely. Um, harking back to the PGR 3 days where pretty much everyone would bounce off the walls. So, not a tactic I'd actually recommend because actually, you, I think you need some tyres on the floor to, for that to work. <laughs> but of course... Um, that wasn't exactly planned. We still have a couple of corners then. Not too long left. About a third of a lap. Less than that even. Let's try and get back past the Porsche. Could we do a repeat move around the last corner? Well, that's answered the question. The answer is going to be no. Unless he really messes up right now. But he doesn't need to. Because he's surely seen that I've gone off the track. He can take it easy from here to the end. And it's going to be a second place. So... Disappointingly, I'm not going to be able to do the victory dance with Darude Sandstorm. I'm just going to just drive like absolute crap now. Try and rejoin the track. So there we go, guys. It's going to be a second place. So at least we did win that Indianapolis race. The car, the 09 Corvette, tuned by GTR Jula DT. It's an absolute monster. Definitely a good one for the class. And we're going to have to show the shrug of shame. For finishing in second place. So there it is. Not quite the victory dance this time around. Unfortunately. But that is the end of the video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button. Otherwise I'll smash your nan. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.